Good. Yeah. Well, it's kind of very simple. Uh, 1982, we built a small track at a flea market on, in Osmar, and uh, along with the big cars we were doing, and uh, it just took off. Took about 10 years off, and then six years ago, I opened this up on a Friday, and it's just been every Friday ever since, and uh, it, it just escalates. Uh, we, we do improvements on a regular basis. We change it from time to time so it doesn't get boring. The classes get good, and I mean, it's a hit and miss. Every Friday night, you have anywhere from 20 to 55 racers on a, every Friday night. And then we run our series, and then every other Saturday we run a uh, two-wheel drive series, which is some sweet cars, nice rides. Uh, tonight we're rounding up our eight-week series. So tonight a lot of us is going to be driving aggressive because it's our last chance. And the winner wins a brand-new RC car in each class, yeah. So it's, 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 it's kind of like for money, but these cars are going to be winning are all 250, 300 plus for the winner. So it's a good run tonight. Tonight wraps up our eight week series. So a couple of us are so close to one another. So tonight's the time. Tonight's, tonight's tonight. So tonight, what you're seeing now is the top, top guys in the series in the finals. So the other guys, instead of being in the way, chose to ease up so us the guys that are running All first, right, second, third, and fourth can run together, have a good run tonight. So uh, good turnout tonight for the grand finale. Uh, weather's perfect tonight. Track right, is good tonight. Uh, we haven't had no rain in the last uh, four or five days, which is Phil. good. It allows the track to get hard packed, and we use a uh, sugar type material that we spray it, coat it, kind of keeps the dust down, kind of keeps the bite in it. So tonight you're going to see some good racing, and what you've seen so far has just been the first qualifier of each class. Uh, so as it goes on, it gets a little better. As it goes on, some of the people even show up a little later for the program because they get to see the grand finale. You know, the mains. The mains is this is kind of fighting for position right now. This kind of qualifies us. After this, our mains will be posted, and then that's the way our race will start. We got four minutes to get it done in each class. The earlier class you've seen was the Bombers. That's our two-wheel drive. A very, it's a good class to get your feet wet and have a good time and not be discouraged. You ain't got to go out and buy the best motor, the best car, the best tires. It's a class that got some rules. They all got rules, but in this class, the two-wheel drive class, or the four-wheel drive class, it's easy to tie up three to $400 in a little 12 motor. Easy. So in the uh, bomber class, we call it, you can only run a 13.5 or a 27 turn motor. So the rules are allowing everybody to be close to one another. Uh, I encourage that for the families, the fathers who bring their children out to get in that class, because that allows them to get in, have fun, be competitive with other people, and then they can go further if they want to go into a more expensive class or a higher dollar class or another class. Gives them a good start. Um, as you heard earlier, you had Karen on the. Uh, Karen's been Karen's been announcing our races now for almost two years. She's done all of our dirt oval races. She's done all of our series dirt oval series races. She's done all of my on road races. So she's just she's a natural at what she's doing. Uh, my wife runs the hobby shop while I'm out here. Uh, my son does run into bomber class. My smaller son will be getting into it. But we've all become like a family over the five years. You know, we know their families. You know, everybody is taking a vacation. You know, seasonal, go do something different, and then they come back. But they all seem to come back to the hobby. Once it's in your blood, uh, you really can't, you're, you're hooked. You know, it, it's something about being competitive, building something that gets out there and gets the job done, you know. Uh, people say, you know, RC cars, but people say toys, but, but they're really not toys. If you pay attention to it, they're a race car, but in 10 scale, 8 scale, and we put just as much time and effort into it by staying up all night long working on them, by just burying ourselves, putting other things that we need to be doing on hold just to mess with our hobby. It's just something that happens. Uh, some of us run multi-classes, uh, you know, two, three, or four classes. And some people, 
run just one class, which is really what I suggest. I don't suggest anybody trying to run two or three or four or five classes. One class allows you to maintain and keep up with your car and be the best at what you do. Other classes, if something goes wrong during the race program, you have to get in there and work on that car, so therefore you've left one car to the side. And then you left another car to the side. So if anything goes wrong with that car, you're fixing it. So it, 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 it has its moments. It can be very frustrating if it ain't going right. Uh, uh, luck, luck has a lot to do with it. Skill has a lot to do with it. Uh, patience has a lot to do with it. But you can have a good night where you're driving through stuff. You don't even know how you went through it. You can have a car that's hooked up, dialed in, running good, got all the power in the world. Somebody pulled out in front of you, you smack them, you're broke, your evening's done. So uh, it's like real racing, it's just scaled down. Guys that come out, come out with the same tools, the same big trailers. You know, they do the same thing over and over every single Friday, some Saturdays. There's another racetrack that uh, is ran in uh, Dover that they run on Sundays. And those people come out here and race, and we go out there and race, and all of us feed off of one another. And they're part of the series. There's a, another racetrack in Ocala called New Reds that uh, runs too. So we're all part of the Florida Dirt Oval Series. So all of us share and go from track to track, run the series together. And when we run the Florida Dirt Oval Series, that is, uh, that's when all of the racetracks are together as one. Race one might be at one track, race two is at another track, and race three is at another, and then it goes back again, and we'll run six races in that series, and uh, we'll run twice at each track. So it allows us to travel to one part. Of All three tracks are different. Uh, where this track here at SS is uh, hard-packed, only foam tires, uh, uh, banked, high speed. Then you have Dover, which is a larger track, larger straightaways, a little wider, a um, uh, little flat, but a good track that a lot of people run. It's getting their feet wet. You know, they, they, they can get out there because it's, it, uh, uh, you, you, you have no in, you, you, have, you have a large infield, so it allows you to run off the, the track, get back on the track. Good race in there. They do that every Sunday. Uh, New Reds um, is a tight track, um, good track, good high bite track. They have a different type of clay material there. Um, they all have their, their groups. You know, each track has a group that runs their track on a regular basis. You have sometimes what I call, you know, the group the club you know each track has its own members its own club members that kind of come and we all travel from track to track but it's hard to do Friday Saturday Sunday every Friday Saturday and Sunday so you find yourself taking time off you know obviously I do car shows all over the state of Florida so I can't be at every track every weekend it's impossible. sometimes I can't be at my own track if I have another show going on um, but tonight's going to be good. There's going to be some good programs tonight. Some good, good running tonight. Probably a lot of, uh, a lot of guys pushing the envelope tonight. A lot of rubbing because I don't want to lose. And I know they don't want to lose. And everybody wants to win. That's the name of the game.